uh, at that time there was some mixed signals um, um, because the problem is that the constitution of the ISD was uh, not clearly written whether they really wanted the school which is regular school or their constitution was based on only on the Sunday school. Um, and we had multiple meetings with the ISD. The, uh, 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 mostly uh, our meetings was not very successful. And uh, the problem is that they labeled this school as something which is like a personal school. Because whenever I, I remember, and uh, many of the discussion, even Dr. S uh, Salim Khan participated, is that they always ask how much rent you are going to pay. If we make a building on this uh, uh, space where you have the trailer, which actually is, is a land um, which was uh, supposed to be built for the school. But the discussion was always like how much rent you would pay if we develop uh, that land into a school. Our answer was always that we cannot afford a rent because in order to develop a good school, we need funds to pay good to the teachers. And if we start paying rent, and if we st start paying so much, then it would be difficult for us. And since the, the, the building is supposed to be formed for the school, and our goal is to make a school, why don't we work together with ISD? So as I say that, that at that time we realized that there was so much confusion and many of the elders who were with us um, like Dr. Ijaz Ahmed who was one of our uh, consultant and many other Muslims uh, who were uh, helping us during uh, those um, discussions um, 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 decided to um, buy the building and start the school separate from the ISD because ISD is more designed their constitution in a more political format because they have board members who have a three year period and every year they have a change of one third of their board member and you don't know after a few years who will be then the board whether they support the school or not support the schools so that was a big um, threat that today even if you start the, or make the building tomorrow if the board comprise of people who uh, uh, do not like to have a Islamic school. As initially many people say that we don't need a school. There are free schools, there are good schools, there are private schools, or there are chartered school. If you want to teach Islam, just ask the children to come in the evening and Imam can teach Quran and Salat and other things. Why you really want to dedicate it a, a whole school uh, with the name of uh, or in the name of Islam. Um, why don't you just do it? So th th there was an uh, argument whether we really uh, uh, needed a school or not. We were always determined that the school should be Islamic school. It's not just the education, it's the environment with matters. I mean, so, and Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped us also. So at one time when we realized that the ISD wanted us to leave, from the uh, uh, trailer as they started uh, making the building and at that time we did not have a clear signal from the ISD in spite of multiple discussions that it will be a full-time regular school. Um, so we decided to buy the building. So the next option was to buy the building as I mentioned next to the mosque and he was asking $285,000. And um, I remember we went there, we paid him $10,000 down payment and we made a contract and the contract was with the contingent that uh, uh, depending upon the permission uh, from the land use authority to use that building for the purpose of his school. So we approached the land um, control authority and he gave us like a three to four month period that within this period uh, we should be able to inform um, him that uh, we are buying the building otherwise our down payment will not be returned. Um, so uh, so at that time we came to the ISD 
and uh, we had discussions uh, isg um, um, uh, agreed to help and uh, we had three proposal uh, from the alum side we get one proposal was to buy the building by the mutual combination of the isd and, and the alham and uh, alham will give this building to the the isd so in other word though the building uh, would be bought by the alham but it would be the property of the isd uh, the only assurance was to be used only for the school and we had three proposal for that because the um, at that time we um, uh, we we plan to take loan from the lareba because that was the only option we had it, uh, in terms of the islamic financing and the lareba as you know require about 30% down payment um, so we were required around 120000 dollar out of which we were sure that we will um, generate 60 to 90000 dollar and uh, and we were expecting um, we were expecting isd to share part of the 120000 dollar and um, 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 and second option was isd completely buy that building because this building is even if it is not used for the school could be used for the house of imam could be used for sunday school could be used for the women who comes there and have their halqa is a multi and have provided multiple parkings uh, the only or, or the third option was uh, that the alham buy the building and use it for the school and uh, isd only allows because there are certain uh, changes that we have to make and isd allow us to to uh, to show those changes in our land development because that in order to develop that building into school we were required to have more parkings and the only way we could add parking is if we show some of the uh, parkings of the isd to be used only for this school so th this was the only thing which isd agreed that it is the alham the school alham will run the school and isd allow to show some of the parking to be part of the alham school and it was also part in the contract if in any time alham alham dissolve the property will be given to the isd so in order to this was the contract between the isd and the um, uh, ISD and the um, and Alham School. So um, uh, we hired um, a Bata, that's a firm for the land development, and we also hired an attorney because we have to get a waiver uh, for use for the school. And the Bata was supposed to design it, the land use in such a way that not only the added parkings are part of the school but they the person who comes and parks safely can park and return to the main road so he has to develop the whole land in short is we spent thousands of dollars on that mapping but unfortunately when it went to the approval uh, uh, when it went for the approval the county put some more uh, objections and in order to fix those objections, we require another three to four, six months, uh, three to four months at least. And by that time, already our contract, which has contingent for three to four months, lapse. Mm. So the sellers uh, um, refuse to sell it. They said, okay, your time is over. I cannot wait another three, four months. So we lost that money, which we spent in the water. At that time, we were quite hopeless. I would say and we decided to close down the school and just leave it if it's in, in uh, uh, if Allah wishes we would get a school otherwise we couldn't do anything because we had no hope the only hope was to start the school and that hope was gone and uh, but I I realized how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped um, first of all at that time I remember my almost it was a last 
um, meeting we considered it as the last board meeting for the alham that, that as we are we are closing down and we donate everything to the isd or some school organizations and that's over uh, i realize the next uh, friday um, i was in the mosque after the prayer my son um, uh, after the prayer told me uh, there was an uncle who, who gave me this check to give it to you i said who i saw the check it was twenty thousand dollar for the school i realized still there are people who are willing to help it was a check of uh, given by dr salim khan and it was a big help because now we realize if one person can give twenty thousand dollar we could generate the whole amount and buy some uh, building which could be used for a school so i informed the other board member that listen we were thinking sixty thousand dollar we could generate now dr salim khan gave a check without even asking for the school i think why don't we um, try to generate the fund on our own without the help of the isd so for that i contacted uh, brother ahmed amir and he did not know me much at that time but he he was a very successful and very busy businessman so he told me that um uh, i am very busy but i mean if you need to talk to me you come to my house but i cannot give you more than half an hour because i have so much many other commitment i said okay fine i remember after maghrib prayer we um, i and some of the other board member went to his house and you couldn't believe the beating lasted 6 to 7 hour mm. it was late in the night we had to ask him brother we let us go now and he was so impressed he was he had he was so determined he said no we have to buy the building and not only that he physically came to me to my house and then we started looking for the property so we decided to buy a church there was a church we found out uh, is on sale i and brother ahmed amir went to the church and uh, we decided to buy the church and uh, and uh, there was so so we we started communication it was a korean church which was on sale and the only issue at that time was church has a well um and that well has to be approved it has some problem with the soil and in order to get it approved we have to uh, put a new well which probably and, and not only the well but also to change the soil there was some issues with the soil technical issues and that would cost an additional $20,000 but alhamdulillah at that time it looks like we would be able to buy the school by by the church and that as i mentioned that dr salim khan and other senior member were also involved so we had again meetings with the isd in fact when they realized that when the isd realized that we are going all uh to buy the church and the community is willing to pay for the church then they put a banner outside the uh, mosque and it was the first time i have seen committed by the isd and they said that the elementary school is starting this year after the building and they have a banner and they are showing the class um they are showing um the school real regular school so then we discuss again with the isd i mean that if you are making a school then we had no intention to create any fitna because generally we have seen so far the census is 40 to 50 student because we did not have such a big community as today we have such a big community you have seen two schools are working so our census was that 50 60 students are or will be in the elementary school and if the isd is starting we will be starting we would be starting another school that would be unnecessary fitna so since we got this assurance from the isd we closed down the project and isd says that whatever the funds you have generated you give it to us and that was the thing so we gave all the funds to the isd and uh, and since then they um 
uh, since, but we, we did not want to close down the school. So during the interim period, once we moved the trailer, we decided to continue the school. And at that time, uh, we, uh, Brother Haitham, uh, Brother Haitham is a very dedicated and um, God-fearing brother. And he was a very knowledgeable and he has a background in engineering, but he has a, um, a knowledge of Islam also. He is a teacher of Arabic as well as uh, uh, he studied from the University of Delivery. So we discussed with Brother Haitham to start a temporary school or till we get the building. That school was known as Al Mishka. And I think that school after we closed down uh, in 2000, three uh, till 2008 worked uh, um, in a, a rental property and brother Haitham uh, managed the school his wife also uh, worked with the school and, uh, um, and and it worked very well up till 2008 now and after 2008 then we started developing the constitution for the um, IAD school because I, uh, I, the name uh, given by the ISD was the Isl uh, Islamic Academy of Delivery, so we continued with the same name. 